Hello. Welcome to another video. I thought I would do a thing called an apartment tour. Would you like to would you like to go on a tour of of my new apartment? Yeah? Okay, cool. So, um this is the this is the front door. This is how we we come in to the apartment when when we come in. This is a little uh calendar that that we sometimes use but usually not. For stuff like when Zeus's last bath was and stuff like that. Important dates. Uh this is the the dining room area. Uh, this is our little table. Uh-huh, uh-huh. This is where we sit. This is where we sit and have dinner sometimes. Um, this is a map of the United States. You can see that there are uh, little lines and things. Um, these lines represent the places we've been throughout the U.S. together. You can see we've we've covered the entire south coast really. Um you know from from Florida to, to California there. Um haven't really gotten up into the east coast, at least not together, uh or the like Midwest up here, but 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 I mean We've done pretty well. We've we've covered uh we've covered a lot of ground. This is our porch. Um there's not a lot on it. There's my bike right there. Um otherwise there's some there's some birds from, from some birds that were just chilling. these cacti for like 10 years and and uh yeah they're kind of resilient they just they won't die which is cool uh there's a dog uh in the middle of the table here we have some flowers these little flowers here are the same flowers that Rory brought to me the day he proposed to me. Uh, it's kind of a romantic story. He proposed to me in our bathroom at our old apartment. And uh, then I had to go to work. And I came home and he had these little flowers for me and I've kept them ever since. You can see that they've kind of Falling apart into the vase there, but it's okay. They're still they're still hanging on there for the most part. We've got uh, some bar stools here for 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 some like you know for some potential company in the future. We've got some refrigerator poetry that we haven't really done anything with, but. I got a blender for delicious smoothies. Here's a bag of dog treats that actually smell really good. They, uh, they're like dog cookies and they smell like actual cookies. And I may have possibly eaten part of one. And, uh, they're actually kind of delicious. Anyway, uh... <laughs> <clears throat> Here we have a stove that I had to take apart a little bit uh, because I burned something and I had to clean the little plates that sit inside here because because I care. A little windowsill here. I bought some plants just for the sake of of our new apartment. 
We got some lucky bamboo here. I don't know if it's really very lucky, but I guess we'll see the older it gets. And, and some, we've got a, a few succulents here that are also doing very well. They haven't really grown, though it only has been like a month, maybe two since we've been in here, so. I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what these guys look like when they're bigger, if they get bigger. I know this bamboo will get bigger. I'm not sure about these guys. Here are our scented oils. We have some zen, zen, and sandalwood. And uh, these Walmart brand ones back here, which for some reason I think they expire or something, because I, I put some of this in in the thing earlier and it it kind of smelled weird like kind of plasticky so I don't know whatever uh yeah I like here it is here here is the the little aroma dispenser doing its thing I'm kind of fond of of this thing uh, there's the the coffee pot. Life is not even close to as good as it is without coffee. Uh, here are some bubbles. That's where I'm washing the parts of the stove. Uh, remnants of lunch. Mm -hmm. uh, some 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 uh, pallets. Yep. Some, some bananas that are almost not good enough to eat. <coughs> Here's our living room. There's Zeus again. Um, I would show you my hermit crabs, but they do not appear to be out and about. So, uh... Yeah, they're kind of shy, you know, as hermit crabs do, but that's, that's our little hermit cage. We have three of them in there. Um, here are some amiibos. We may or may not accidentally collect these things. All sorts of amiibos. Here's our video game collection. Ugh, so many titles. And some movies. This is my movie collection. I don't ever really use these anymore, but they're nice to have on a shelf, you know? Here's Henry's cat tree. Yeah. Here is a fireplace. We actually have a fireplace again, that's nice. Not that we'll ever really need to use it. I mean, we might. Uh, it's nice to have the option. Here is a giant uh, tapestry print of Peter's from uh, Peter Draws. Uh, I bought it off of Society6 on sale and I guess I didn't realize how big it is, because I had to actually stand on top of this table, on that stool, to reach the ceiling there. Yeah, it's, it's about as big as this living room. <laughs> yeah. Zeus, do you want to go in the office? Okay, let's go. So this is the hallway that takes us to the office. I have a few of my drawings up here. Or paintings, I guess. That's a drawing. That's a painting. And a drawing. Got a couple of these guys. And my favorite fishies. This is our bedroom. This is...
You just sneezed on my face. Uh, we have tons of bookshelf space that I can't even fathom filling right now. But this is going to be my little desk for studying when school starts again. This is Henry's little spot. This is where he sleeps sometimes, a lot of the time. Especially during the day, he likes sleeping here. My books. Got some nonfiction up that way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and the rest of this is fiction, for the most part, I think. And poetry. Yeah. Here are my art books. Got some, some more of Peter's work here. Um, the Art World of John Wilde. I found this book at Half Price Books not too long ago. This guy's stuff is really cool. Check him out. Um, animal anatomy, something about birds. Um, anatomy is like, I don't know. I don't think I could have enough books on anatomy, even though I only have one currently. Um, some sort of pen and ink animal book that's really big. It was like five dollars, so I couldn't really resist. Rendering in pen and ink. Here's another pen and ink book that uh, I heard about and purchased. Um, some Richard Gorey. Yeah. Here are some of my other little art books, sketchbooks. Um, I don't know, I don't think these are really very, like, a lot of these aren't very full. I mean, I've got a few cool things in here, but not a lot. Mostly just my little animal things. Uh, this is like a journal or something. I don't know what this is. Let's find out. Oh yeah, it's a journal. Some stuff. And another one that I only drew like a few things in. Master bathroom. We've got some cool shower curtains. And some ships. And crusted butt. Colorado. Old print of some sort that I found at a thrift store. Couldn't resist. Goosey. And this. Oh wait, here. Here's the other bathroom. Where's the light? There it is. The other bathroom. More curtains that are kind of cool. I don't know. Just like shapes and shit. There's a, an old cigarette ad from a magazine for uh, Lucky Strike cigarettes. Thought that was kind of neat. I cut it out and framed it. All right, we're going into the office where all of the magic is made. Um, why am I so close? There we go. Hi. Hello. So here's our office. This is uh, Rory's space, my husband. This is my man's area. Uh, I may have cleaned it a little bit for him today. Don't tell him I told you. I mean, don't tell him that I did that. Uh, don't tell him or anything. Yeah, this is my space. This is where all the things happen. I've got this giant uh, set of drawers. This is where I put most of my like loose leaf drawings and paintings. There's a good stack in here. Of stuff. <coughs> there are some old negatives. A pretty nice microphone. Uh, 
Retro 4 GoPro. Um, bunch of oil paints. Uh, from when I was painting for that, or uh, mixing paints for that lady. I'm, I'm not sure if she wants these back or if I'm actually still doing that. But that's the drawer for all of that. Um, general, like, camera stuff. Got a bunch of old rolls of fem film there that I don't know if I'll ever develop. But, you know, maybe someday I'll surprise myself. And then just some other junk. And yeah, here's my desk. Got some Polaroids there. Of stuff. People, things. Another Peter print. Old Tory poster. Um, here's my set of drawers. Some LaCroix that I've been drinking. <coughs> stuff. More stuff. Other stuff. Here's my drawer of pens and like various glue sticks and ink and shit stuff. Some other pens. Half of these I'm sure are dried out. I really should go through and toss them. Actually, no, I think I just did that. So those actually might all be pens that are usable. Uh, charcoal and stuff is down here. I don't really play with charcoal much, but. Uh, for when I do, there it is. And, and, got this sketchbook here. My little bird on the front of it. This is the one I made myself. And, uh, got a couple pages full. Not too many. Just a few. It's a decently small sketchbook, too. Uh, I still have a lot. To go, but it's not like it's a 400 page, page sketchbook. I'm sure I can fill it at some point. What else? I don't know. Um, I don't know. I, I honestly think I think that's about it. It's a pretty good, pretty good apartment tour, if I don't say so myself. And I do say so myself. So yeah, I think I think that's about it. Um, yeah, uh, thanks for stopping by, and uh, um, I'll see you next time. Okay, bye. Oh, but wait, I I have a drawing for you. I have a drawing for you to enjoy. It's mostly made out of lines. I find that when I have nothing in my brain, getting a ruler out and just drawing a couple of lines, or just shapes and maybe some lines inside those shapes, is like an automatic cool looking thing to start going at. Um, yeah, that's what I did. I think I started this one at work. And uh, I filmed most of it. There are parts here that don't get video time, but it's okay. You guys get the gist. Um, I worked on this one for like two days. It was kind of addictive. I'd you know I'd have to put it down to go do something like adult responsibility type some things and <sighs> just wouldn't want to leave this little drawing alone. I took it to a bar. I took it to dinner. You know, worked on it while I waited for our food to arrive and <sighs> yeah, it went places. I was actually at one point while we were waiting for our food at this one restaurant, this girl, uh, she's like, 
you know, she complimented me on it and she, she wanted to know what I was doing with my, with my art. And I never know what to say to that question. What am I doing with it? Well, I'm making it. Here I am. You're watching it, man. Doesn't get much more complicated than that. I mean, I am going to school, but I'm going to I'm not going to school specifically for art, even though it is an associate of arts. Uh, I'm also taking stuff like government and you know science courses and math and stuff in English. So. I mean, I don't know. I'd love to have a job in illustration, but uh, I don't know. Most people want experience in like illustrator and stuff, and I don't know. I could get into that, but I really just like drawing traditionally inside my books and on paper and stuff at my desk. It's It doesn't go much further than that right now. I mentioned, uh, like, YouTube and stuff. I was like, uh, I don't know. How about Instagram and YouTube? That's what I'm doing with it. And they kind of looked at... She and her boyfriend kind of looked at me like, uh... Way to go, underachiever. <laughs> I don't know. It was It was kind of awkward. Again, I just don't know how to answer that. I mean, thanks for the compliment, but, uh... I don't know. Just let me do my thing, man. Just let me be me. <sighs> so, so, uh, what else? I just woke up. I'm drinking some water. Some refrigerated tap water. I'm about to go for a little jaunt around the neighborhood with the dog. Uh, I slept in today. Just a little bit. I was having some cool dreams. Actually, they weren't that cool. It was kind of like a mixture of cool, but also kind of a nightmare. But in that way that like in my sleep, I knew it was a nightmare. So I just enjoyed what was happening. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I was being chased by this freight train. It was like a truck, but this person that was chasing me had turned their truck into or no they turned the they turned this freight train into a truck and they were like i don't know i don't know why they were chasing me it was really strange but i dreamed that for like 15 minutes or so like i woke up and then i went back to sleep and i dreamt that and then i woke up and then and then i came in here Actually, I went to the kitchen and I got water, and then I came in here, and then I finished this video, and then I exported it, and then I posted it, and that's how you're watching this right now. Yeah. That's, that's how it all works. Okay. Alright, that's it then. Have a great day. Ta-ta.